YouTube, Rook here from Rook Geek Goodness, my little channel on the web for all things geeky and cool. And this video, guys, is another subscription unboxing video. We're going to be looking at the collector's case, case number 29 for September 2018. Now, you may not be familiar with the whole idea of collector's case or subscription unboxing videos. Basically, collector's case curates a bunch of geeky and pop culture items every single month. Everything is blind box. You don't know what you're going to get until you crack into one of these boxes. The price point for this box right here is $25 US. It comes in two variations. The $25 box that you see it before you, and it comes with another variation. It's about $50 to $60. Why is the box much more expensive? It's because they do celebrity autographs. The autograph for this particular month is supposed to be Michael Jai White, the guy who played in the Spawn movie many, many years ago. Now, you can always get the Michael J. White autograph for the higher priced box. This box has a chance of pulling the autograph. It's one of three, so let's get into it. Now, if you want to get your own collector's case, just head over to the website right here. It's the collectorscase.com. Again, this is a $25 case. The only thing I've done so far is cut the bottom of the box. So let's actually get into it. When you open the packaging up, you will see it looks something like this. There's a cover here. And one thing before I go any further, you'll see this white packaging that you see before you. They do a lot of stuff with Funko items. And I see a Funko item in this box. So let's actually crack into it, guys. It looks to be a really good box. Uh, we, got, we got double pops. <gasps> Woo! We got double pops today, guys. Let's get into it. Very first item before we do anything is a wearable. They always do either t-shirts, socks, hats, something along those lines. This one looks to be a really cool, cool shirt. It's white. It's a TMN t-shirt. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shirt, sort of like a classic style artwork. It looks, I think they take liberty from the Bruce Lee, yeah, Enter the Turtle, from the Bruce Lee Enter the Dragon movie. They took a, uh, a, a spin of the original Bruce Lee movie, so it looks really, really good. I like that. That looks really nice. Very sharp looking artwork. Uh, this one was done by Shirt Punch. Once again, Shirt Punch is coming to do stuff with Collector's Case. I think, I think that's really, really cool. So we have a lot of stuff in here. Uh, speaking of, this is very, very cool. Uh, we'll get back to that one here. Uh, some of the items in here, we have a lot of stuff in this box, guys. Let's talk about this first. Um, one thing Collector's Case is really known for, and I'm very happy about this, is trading cards. They put trading cards in a lot of their boxes, something very different than most collecting boxes, subscription boxes, don't do. They put in trading cards. So I actually had about two boxes ago, I hit really, really good luck, and I actually got a signature card. So let's actually get into this one here. This is the Then, Now, Forever, Tops 2017. Look for John Cena tribute cards. There's seven cards per pack. So let's actually get into it. So we're going to cut into it here, see what we get. Um, don't know if I'm going to get any autographs or not, or any special cards. Uh, I'll showcase some of these off in my light box. Uh, nothing really great here, but I'll show some of them off for you. You have, of course, we have Stone Cold. Stone Cold! Stone Cold! Steve Austin right there. Uh, we have Edge. This is the 2017 cards. The artwork, is, the, the pictures is pretty good here. They have a Summer Ray, which would be a the normal Superstar card, but it looks a little different. So, yeah. So we have some, some trading cards here, which is pretty cool. I'm a big fan of WWE and wrestling in general. If you haven't uh, noticed, I have had to do a podcast called the Worldwide, Worldwide Wrestling Podcast. I shoot that every other week, so definitely head over to that. I'll put a link in the description box of this video. So next pack here, we have, let's see if we get anything really, really good. Nothing I'm seeing great here. We got a John Cena tribute card, which was this right here. Again, I'll take pictures in my light box so you can see what some of these cards looks like. look like. Not bad, not bad cards. We have an RKO out of nowhere, so Randy Orton, pretty cool. Um, these packs usually go for about three to four dollars. What I'll do at the end of the video, I usually talk about value of this box. So let's actually get into this one here. We have a Street Fighter Knockouts. Uh, one of my last Rook 180 videos, I did uh, the Rook, uh, the uh, Street Fighter Knockouts. It actually won my challenge in my very, I think near the end of my Rook 180 segment, but this was one of the items I actually unboxed. Uh, if you're curious, you can get Ryu, Chung Lee, Kami, Ken, Blanca, Guile, Sakura, Bison, Zangief, Akuma, or two uh, Chase figures. Uh, these go for about, I want to say $10 a piece, uh, very similar to the little bombshells. That's why they're called Street fight a little knockout. So let's actually crack into it and see if we can get anything decent out of this. It'd be nice to pull a chase. But again, pulling chase stuff, which we, I think we have a chase here. I think they gave every case a chase, but I could be wrong. I'm not entirely sure. It looks like we have Zingy. We have Zingy. So he looks really, really good. I, I do like Street Fighter stuff. Looks nice. Again, take up close shots of everything so you can see it in the light box. Looks really, really good. Uh, this, the little knockout stuff is very, very cool. Very, very collectible. They come in different variations, and it's something a little bit different that you don't normally see. We have here 
a one of the pops we have Raiden from Mortal Kombat. Uh, I don't actually have this particular Raiden figure. I have a 8-bit version which I got out of a mystery box, so uh, which was a chase figure, uh, glow in the dark. So this one looks really, really good. Let's actually get in it here. He's number 254 in the pop games line. Uh, he looks really, really cool. Uh, articulation, head does spin with no hindrance. This does not glow in the dark from what I'm seeing here. Uh, he has his, you know, his hat on that he's known for in the Mortal Kombat franchise. Looks really, really good actually. Uh, he has a hand out in sort of like a lightning pose. Looks very, very nice. Uh, and again, don't have this guy. Uh, very, very good to have him into my collection. So let's put him back. And he was again number 254 of the uh, Pops Games uh, line. So let's actually get back into this. All right. I'll put it right there for product placement. Perfect. We have uh, the dossier, which we'll talk about at the end of the video, which will be the September 2018. You always get one of these. It showcases everything that was in the box. So let's see what else we have here. We have a comic. Ooh, that's very interesting. Uh, we have a comic here, which is Superman. Looks really, really cool. Again, they curate these. They, you'll get like they, they have random grabs for comics. So this one looks nice. It's uh, I can't remember the guy's name. It was a Superman character. Uh, I can't remember the name off the top of my head. Let me know in the comment section who this guy is. I, I've seen him before. I don't read a whole lot of Superman books, so let me know. Uh, probably the big item here, next to the mystery item, which we'll talk about that last, is which is very cool because I've seen these at Toys R Us. It is the Commando Spawn. Thinking, you know, because this box is designed for the whole idea of Michael J. White playing Spawn, we have a Spawn figure. This is a McFarlane based toy. I think for the price of these, I think they're about $20 US, but I could absolutely be wrong about it. But I've seen these at Toys R Us. He looks really, really cool. Uh, again, Collector's Case gives you a lot of value for the $25 investment. Uh, and we have here, <laughs> this is really cool, guys. This is really, really cool. We got an autograph. Because it's not only Michael J. White, it's him with Heath Ledger's in the Dark Knight movie. This is awesome. This is really, really cool. This trumps the value of this box exponentially. It makes it even better. I'm super excited for that. Uh, last but not least, let's close this box up here and we'll talk about the chase. I think this is a chase. I, I'm assuming this is either uh, an extra item here or a chase Funko Pop. I'm not sure which. Let's actually get into his mystery, so I don't know what it is. I'm hoping it's a chase. I'm hoping it's a chase. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. So let's actually crack into it and see what we get here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <gasps> Woo! It's Batman, the animated series, Batman Robot Chase. I don't own this guy. Very, very cool to grab this guy um, from Collector's Case. Thank you very much, Collector's Case. Not only do we have a chase item, but we have a Michael Jai White playing the role of one of the uh, mob bosses from the Dark Knight movie with a shot next one with Heath Ledger. This is a very, very good box. So that being said, let's actually talk about the dossier here. You get one of these, it talks about everything in the actual box itself. So let's actually get into it. We have here, everybody got a Funko Pop Mortal Kombat item. So everybody got one, so I got Raiden in this particular box. I have Sub-Zero and I have uh, Scorpion. I don't have the Raiden, so it's very, very cool. I don't have that item, awesome collector's case. Uh, next we have a comic book, which is round three. I think this guy's name was Guardian. I think this guy's name was Guardian. I just, it just hit me. Um, we have comic books, round three of the random comics. Every case will have a random comic or two. So we had a Superman comic in this one, very, very cool. We had the McFarlane Spawn 7-inch action figure commando spawn. Everybody for the collector's case for September 2018, case number 29, got this guy. Every case had it. So that's very, very cool. Um, very, very happy about that. That's super cool. So right there is the commando spawn. We have Trops Trading Cards, Then, Now, and Forever, which you see in front of my table here, which we've got two packs of those. You get two hits per case. So these were the uh, Hobby Box ones. If they're saying two hits per case, that would be the Hobby Box version. The, the packs you would get at, say, Walmart, you would not get the two hits per case because they're not sold in a Hobby Box like that. This is a Hobby Box picture here. Uh, let's actually take a look real quick to see if the uh, pack said uh, two hits per case. I'm not entirely sure. Um, we'll grab it out here. 
Uh, it doesn't say it here, so I'm assuming these are probably the Walmart versions, but the picture on the box, or excuse me, the picture on the, the literature would be the, the hobby box version of the then now forever 2017 cards. We have the Cowabunga t-shirt, which is the Turtles t-shirt, which is on the bottom here. We have uh, which pop, which drop did you get, which chase did you get? So everyone, I think, got a chase pop in that month's collector's case, what it sounds like. That's what it sounds like, I could be wrong, but we did, in fact, get the Batman robot chase. Very, very cool, I don't own this guy. I love getting chase pops, especially out of subscription boxes. It's super cool when you can pull one of these things. And of course, every case will get a mystery pop, and it's also a chase pop, which is they said here. And you can get the, we had the Zangief here, or you could have gotten a blind bag uh, keychain. It was one of the, I guess, uh, one either or sort of item at the bottom here. And then we have the Michael Jai White, which with the autograph, he was on the black belt. I guess you could have gotten a black belt uh, a magazine. You could have gotten normal uh, pictures of him or the Spawn version. We got one with him with um, Heath Ledger. That's super cool. That makes this all worth even more to me. Now the back of the pack, and you could get different pictures before I go any further. There's different shots you could have gotten here. We just happened to get the Dark Knight one. Very, very cool about that. Next, on the back of the actual dossier, they talk about chase the case, where you snap tag and share your chance to win with different sort of pops there. Next month, case number 30, which will be for October, it features the Rocky Horror Picture Show. And I believe what I've heard, you get one of three different autographs out of that particular box. And case number 31 in November fe uh, features Nicole Day Boyer, who played um, Dax in DS9. I really hope to get myself that Esri Dax, I believe her name was. So, wow, what a hell of a September 2018 box in my honest opinion. So let's talk about value for this particular case. This box was loaded to the teeth. So let's actually go into what I think the value is for, these, for this particular box. Now, I'm giving you my personal opinion. This does not necessarily mean what the real true MSRP pricing or the US real pricing is for these items. I'm giving you what I perceive the pricing is. So let's actually get into it. The turtle t-shirt that you see on the bottom over here, I usually give those prices about $10. I call it even about 10 bucks. The comic here, we, which would be probably $3, so we're probably gonna be $13. The packs of cards that you see in front of me here, let's call them $3 a pack. So you're looking at about $19, let's round it up to 20. So between the, the shirt, the comic, and the packs of cards, we're at $20. The Funko item, you're looking at about another $10, so it makes it $30. The Zangief here, we we'll put it about another $10, so we're at $40. The Spawn uh, figure, you're looking at about, I want to say $19.99, so it brings it up from $40 to $60 for this box so far. The Chase Pop, everyone gets a, a Chase one, what it sounds like from the literature. I want to put this at about $29.99, or $25 to $29.99, so I'm going to call this box $80 right now just for what you see. Adding in the signature intrinsically raises the price of this box. Now, not everyone's gonna get the signature, mind you. So this makes this a very, very valuable box in my personal opinion. This was a great box for September 2018. I highly recommend people pick up the collector's case. Head over to thecollectorscase.com right there. You can get your very own collector's case. You'll get stuff like this, and it's a great, phenomenal box. I definitely hope you like my review of case number 20 29 for September 2018. Definitely click that like button, always click subscribe, and subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon to be notified of my latest videos. And last but not least, you can click windows over here to watch more of my content. Take care guys, I'll see you next video, and bye bye. <gasps> Woo!